first meal on the cruise ship is the blue iguana tacos. We did chicken tacos with cheese and tomatoes. I did have an arrow salsa, a little bit of cheese and sour cream. Yeah. I'm so excited. Dig in. Give this a shot here. Mm. Delicious. Yeah, the chicken is really, really it good. It's really good. It's really flavorful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm going to dig in. We'll see you guys in a bit at Sail Away. Good morning. I don't know what I'm going to get yet, but we're going to see what they have. Okay. Over here. We've got oatmeal with all the toppings right here. A little scrambled eggies. It's in the loop, too. Oh, I found my favorite thing. What is it? Grilled. Pancakes with blueberry syrup. <laughs> with the grilled ham. No, thank Pork you. Sausage. But maybe a couple potatoes. Some potatoes. Oh, that looks like a sweet potato. And then pancakes. Just, with... just a pancake. With no blueberry syrup? With blueberry! Oh, there you go. Yes! And they have a little bacon station, which is nice They do have a bacon station. Oh my god, how delicious does that look? <laughs> Maybe a Danish? We gotta do a little something because we're not gonna eat until like noon when yeah. he is done with. Grab a vanilla Danish for me, can you? Yeah. Take one of those. Raspberry too. Yeah, I feel like apple. you want one of these. Yeah. A something in your belly. You want an apple? No, I'm good. With that. Okay. Um, maybe I hear they have cottage cheese, and I really love cottage cheese. Right. Good morning. Good. Oh my God. Right there. Fresh fruit and cottage yeah. cheese. Morning. Good morning. morning. How are you? Come up. Get even some meats. Get some sliced salami. Sliced ham. There's some cheese. Some turkey. What a nice little breakfast. Cottage cheese, eggs, coffee. A little mix of everything here. So, Amy, you're going to do six. Six buffalo. And I'm going to do. Ten barbecue. Ten barbecue. And Lee is going to do 15, 15 wings. He's going to get his fat boy clothes to get it. I have. But well, you told me I needed to eat. Yeah, well, he does. He needs to eat. But uh, we're going to fatten him up with these wings. That's just what has to happen, right? I'm so excited. All right. Now, Lee, this is new, right? Because you and John Heal did something the other day. Yeah. And you guys just did, like, you guys just tried a couple of the Parmesan I ones. did the Parmesan, yeah, the garlic Parmesan part. Um, I love wings. Like, of all of the food, wings are like my thing, and these are all, I've been told, they're all flats. Oh, they're all flats, so they're, okay. I like flats. But for me, that feels like wings. I don't know, I don't want to spark debate on the internet, but I feel like the flat is the wing. It's the... Well, chicken is. Right? The other one, what do you call them? Is it drums? Drums and flats? Drums and flats. I feel like drums aren't wings, the, the flat is the wing. Right. The flats are my favorite. Because when you think of a chicken wing, you think of a flat, you think of the wings. That's my thought. Amy, you agree with that? Uh, flats are my favorite. There's going to be people on the internet that disagree. He prefers the drummies. No, I do. <laughs> I'm rooting this experience. So, so when we can wait, Black, to eat the flats and he can see the old ones. That's, that's just how I like them because yeah. I think I can dip them easier. You think you know a guy and then you find out he's a yeah. drum. I know. Oh, I know. Um, barbecue, parmesan, garlic, chipotle, honey, hot barbecue, or buffalo, and 6, 10, 15, and 20. Oh man, I can't wait to try these out. Now it's working. What flavor is that, man? It's just a barbecue, the whole barbecue. That looks amazing. Right? Happiness in a bowl. Incredible. Which ones are these? Wow. 
These look fantastic. Drinks around the world. Right. Just get a clip of uh, the menu. The blue, blue margarita is what we have right here. Uh, it's pretty good. Amy, what are your thoughts on that? It's so good. It's strong but sweet, so it almost evens itself out. There you go. And we're doing a, we're down here for the... Let's celebrate. Celebration. celebration. Yeah. And this is at, what bar is this? This is Latitudes on deck six. Okay, so they're having a party at 5.45? Yes, yeah. it's called the Let's Celebrate. Everyone that's celebrating something, we're celebrating life right now. That's right, or birthdays, or anniversaries, yes. whatever, right? And then, the DJ's over here. We are at Emerald's Bistro. I will teach you how to pour a beer. That was, a, that was a good pour. Thank you. Professional. All right, so we're at Emeralds. We just ordered some a stuff. A ton of food. So we'd love to show you everything we got. Ooh, and yes. let you know how it tastes. Yeah, should be good. Yeah, we're excited. We just ordered about five minutes ago. And uh, after talking with Lee this afternoon, he told us that we have to try two things. And what are they? Jambalaya and Banana Fosters. So Lee, this one's for you. We're going to try it out, buddy. All right? So. Uh, stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right, I got to start some red beans and rice. And then I got the jambalaya, it's so hot. It comes out piping hot on the skillet pan. Everything's just put together nicely, and uh, it is, it's, it's hot. I mean, he, he dropped, the server dropped it off. It's a, it is steaming up the camera. It is, you guys can tell right there, but man, looks like a great sized portion too. So I'm excited, I'm gonna try this out. It it's is. It's gonna be hot. That's what he said, don't burn your tongue. A little sausage. I can hear it sizzling. It's sizzling, yeah. I love this. Not it's good. so good. The rice goes perfectly with it. This jambalaya's got it's got some kick to it over here. I'll tell you that. Spicy kick? Mm -hmm. mm. Definitely spicy. Thank I mean, gosh, we have some water and beer to wash it down. Absolutely. And then when the next thing comes out, we'll share that with y'all too. Next up, we have the shrimp scampi skillet. Look at the sizzle. That looks so good. This is a good experience so far. What do you think? I think it's delicious. This is the cast iron shrimp scampi skillet. Yeah. A lot of flavor. It's so good. It's not spicy, but it punches you in the face with flavor. The jambalaya was excellent. It's just, it's, it's, it's the sausage. I talked to the server, he said the sausage is usually very spicy. And I'm not really a spicy person. I'd be spicy. That's right. But um, for the most part, if you get it on the sausage. It's, it's pretty good. good. It's pretty good. But, but our know. favorite parts are coming, the dessert. Yes, the dessert is coming. And if, you, if you're on the celebration, just come down here and you gotta try this out because there's so many different places to eat on this ship, it blows my mind. Mm -hmm. And it's hard, it's really hard 
to try to eat at every one of these places. Yeah, we got jambalaya, shrimp scampi, red beans and rice, two desserts for $33. Is that what it was? It yeah. Was and two bottles, and two beers. I didn't include the price of the beer, that was separate, but oh, yeah, the, yeah. Food the food itself. for three little smaller entrees and two desserts, $33. I like this because like tonight I didn't want to sit in the dining room. Yeah. I didn't want to eat pizza or anything like that. I wanted yeah. to just have that experience overall. And, and just, this is a casual just eat good food. Almost like a grab and go. You order at the counter, they bring you they give you a table number and then they yeah. bring your food out as it's ready. And it's oh, just sometimes a bit number. more convenient than going to a sit down restaurant where it's very formal and you have to order and wait and sit there for an hour and a half. This is kind of just a quick and intimate and with, Eat as you want. With really good food. With, it, it's yeah, fantastic. Everything is really, really good. Um, but yeah, I mean, challenge your uh, your taste buds, I guess. If you get on the ship and yeah. you want to try something out, try Emerald's Pastry. So, Agreed. Um, he's got it figured right out because even the menu is, is, is pretty good. So that's it. We'll, uh, we'll be back with desserts in a moment. Okay, this is the moment we've been waiting for. The thing is... Yeah, right? And then, banana frosting. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, beignets. For me, I personally like the chocolate as opposed to, I believe it's strawberry. But I'll dip anything in chocolate. It's like a cloud of heaven with powdered <laughs> sugar. It's that soft. With huh? chocolate. It's like a puppy that you just want to snuggle in a blanket. Okay. I think what you're trying to say is it's just like, it's very soft. Mm -hmm. It's good. You'd order it again. Every day. Are you going to order it every day? Probably. You can. Maybe. You probably will, won't you? Mm hmm. All right, that's that. And then we'll try the banana fosters. Okay, so, we, our cruise director, swears by this. So Lee, this is for you, we're trusting you. I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect that. I don't know what I expected. Is it really, really sweet? Not really. Um, I don't even know how to explain that. It's like a caramelized banana with some crumble and ice cream. And it's not overly sweet. Taste it. I'll try it. Okay, so now that we've tried both desserts, Banana Foster's and Beignets. Yeah, I mean, I like bananas. I like banana bread. I like banana anything. It's good. I, I've enjoyed it, but I'm, I'm all about the, the beignets. For me, beignet all day. There you go. All day. Banana Foster's was good, mm -hmm. but the beignets blow my mind every time. So, have both. Decide for yourself. Vacation day. It is six o'clock, and we are having an early dinner at Chibang. And we got super loaded nachos, queso, spring rolls. We got tacos. Look good. And then we still have Caesar salad and steak tacos coming. Perfect. 
We got so much food. Look at all of this. Refreshing.
All right, Amy, let's talk about that, that, that cheese. So normally my go-to is the margarita because that's almost more traditional cheese pizza with the red sauce and the cheese. Mm. I am pleasantly surprised and shocked by how much I love this pizza. I just took a bite of it myself. It, yeah. it was butter. Like it tastes like, like there's a lot of um, it's cheese creamy. mixed butter, creamy. Yeah. yeah. The cheese is really gooey. Yeah. That's it. That's it. All right, now you've got a margarita. Mm-hmm. Always my favorite. Let's give that a shot. That's your. This is your go-to. Always. And, be, and we're being brutally honest. I mean, th- is it overcooked? Is it undercooked? Is it... No, I think it's good. Okay. Give it a shot. It's really good. It's not overcooked. That might be my new favorite. Really? One. Yes. Okay. Wow. You've always had the margarita one. Okay, so... What's what's to you? Do, so do we? We're not crazy about pepperoni, but that's just a you. That's a you preference, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't love meat on a pizza. Yeah. Um, if I get pepperoni, I usually take it off, but it's good. It's just a meat thing. Right. So, with your own perspective, you would you would recommend that? The cheese. The cheese that's, ones. Oh my gosh! Yes. That's, that's great. That's phenomenal. That's fantastic. Well, thanks for being honest, and I know you won't sugarcoat anything, so. All right, <laughs> we will keep uh, eating. eating and you guys can join us on this adventure here. But uh, check out Miami Slice if you're uh, on the celebration. Bye. How you doing? It is phenomenal. Phenomenal. That's great. Yeah. Look at the size of those shrimp. No. Not like the little ones you get at the table, huh? Oh my god, this is the mashed potatoes are delicious. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm blown away. And we both got the same exact thing. Yeah. So. Pipe and hot. Yeah. Fantastic. It's excellent. All right, cool. Good, huh? Oh my god, it just melts, melts away. Melts in your mouth. I don't even need a knife. Wow. And this is in the dining room on the celebration. Oh and uh, it's second amazing. night, it's great. Yeah. Staff's awesome. Everybody's just on point, man. It's a little later in the evening. It's about 8.20 at night, um, but we're good. And it's time to get full, right, Amy? Oh, we're gonna get it done. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get well, We got chocolate melting cake. Yes, and we've got a souffle. Ooh. They wouldn't take no for an answer. And then we have espresso coming. This is cooked perfectly. To Dinner tonight was phenomenal in the main dining room. Yeah, phenomenal. New, new menu, right? Yeah, new so, menu. So new menu. And we've been on like 25, 26 cruises. I got to tell you, by far the best experience tonight, I think, in the dining room. Whatever they want. I agree. Everything was hot, delicious. Yeah. Cooked perfect. Yeah, cooked when we say, perfectly. When we say medium, medium. Cooked medium. medium. It was first, perfect. It was perfect. Yeah. We are at Bonsai Sushi tonight for a little dinner. We've got the ginger salad. We got miso soup. Tempura roll. And a California roll. We have no sesame. And then we've got spicy tuna. We have fat snacks, chocolate chip cookies, a chocolate cake, and some tiramisu. Oh. 
I'm sleeping here. We've moved on to the ice cream. Mm. It sounds good. It's so good. I got a cone. I put mine in a bowl. I like to, I like to eat it out of the little plastic bowls. Can't go wrong either way. isn't doesn't have that much variety and I think I've come to the conclusion maybe of why in my opinion because there's so many places to eat in the evening time that the buffet is just kind of an extra thing so they really focus on breakfast and lunch at the buffet but dinner because you have so many dinner options they just have a few options if you just want something quick so I think that's why all the other ships the buffets seem super busy at night in full of food and this one's just a lot smaller and a lot less crowded because there's so many other options. My opinion. Maria making the best drinks. We are doing a little room service this evening for dinner. We have French fries. And BLTs. Dessert. We have cheesecake. All right, it looks delicious. Can't wait to dig in. 